Greetings and welcome back ladies and gentlemen James is here and uh, we are taking a second look or rather we are continuing to test out how the infantry kits work this round we will play with the Syrian rebels side and uh, we will continue to look at the automatic rifleman We have uh, two options for our weapon, and just as usual, most of the factions have uh, two different weapons suitable for use in the automatic rifleman kit. We join a squad and press page down. We will be leading a squad. And then deploy. So we we will use the bipods. As you can see, we are just uh, aiming, just as usual. But if we get out of this building, I hope I can find the exit, because... <laughs> well, it will do. It is quite a dark map. So... If we go prone, and then aim with the bipod out, we will have it deployed and uh, have much less recoil than it would have uh, otherwise. Well, as of the weapon, we will have much less recoil. Now, I will search for the supply crates. We will get to see the different kits that are available. Nice. Same main battle tank. This has the looks of the P-70 Soviet manufactured vehicle. Binoculars because our weapon lacks scope and uh, is some kind of a balancing tool. You can use the binoculars to spot enemies from a different from a distance. It gives you a different viewing distance and uh, you can use the information that the binoculars can provide you with your well, we'll take a look at the map well, this is a tactical a light vehicle that is used by the Syrian rebels and here we are these are our supply crates on the logistics camp. now finally we can switch to another kit. <laughs> so we looked, we tried out the grenadier, tried out the breacher, the medic, the automatic rifleman, and uh, now it's time 
for a few different options. Little with the designated and Python. We have a semi-automatic semi uh, rifle and a handheld rocket launcher, or rather mm, rocket propelled grenade launcher, RPG. Cool. Let's just hope it doesn't explode in our faces. is a uh, really powerful just like uh, the one the US anti-tank uh, rifleman has access to and uh, you can aim at uh, windows or walls where enemy units are hiding and uh, you can give them a message right. Since uh, the area of effect damage uh, can kill anyone uh, standing or crouching directly behind that wall. Bullets won't go through, but uh, the rocket or the rocket propelled grenade will uh, do some damage. We also have grenades. These are exploding instant, uh, instantaneously upon impact. These are also tools that you can utilize, find a good use for it yourselves. And we also have binoculars because uh, we cannot have a scope in our gun as Syrian rebel. There is also the sniper kit. It uh, can be considered as a noob trap since uh, many new players want to be snipers, but uh, not all squads have a use for a sniper. And most of the time, you are better off just uh, taking a rifleman kit with a scope. And, uh, you can be more useful like that. Uh, snipers are area denials most uh, of the time, so you won't uh, be charging up on enemy positions uh, while using this kit. You will most likely find some nice elevated position with good you and crouch or go prone there and just uh, survey the battlefield and uh, your weapon will most likely kill any units that uh, you manage to hit with it but it also has the downside that you have uh, really slow firing time so when someone approaches you in a really tight space you don't have the luxur luxury that uh, the rifleman or automatic rifleman has like uh, spraying around if you miss with your first shot you won't have much chance survival so place your shots wisely they can be one hit kills but uh, if your location gets compromised uh, you might also find yourself defenseless snipers also have a secondary weapon just like officers these are very useful when uh, 
you need to combat someone in a building or when you need to approach some uh, positions and you are changing positions and uh, you cannot be sure if someone is uh, standing right there uh, waiting in an ambush and uh, while the pistol is uh, better than the rifle in those situations since uh, you can fire it rapidly and the sniper rifles are really slow firing compared to the pistols and uh, also you have a really lim limited supply of ammunition for your main weapon <laughs> this is the booby trap grenade Seems I cannot use it. Well, I also need to refresh my memories and read up on the manual. And how to use the booby trap grenade. I thought I'd, I was prepared, but I thought wrong. The frag grenade is a tool that you most likely know how to use. And also the binoculars. That's about the sniper. And we have the spot. Spotter is uh, not much different from the sniper, but it has a rifle that is capable of uh, shooting in bursts or in fully automatic mode. We also have a grappling hook to get an elevated position. I did fail to get in that far, but uh, we can make do with this <laughs> position, I guess. We also have the cell phone. Uh, if you right click it, Uh, you would have an option to spot um, units with the comms rows, pressing the Q. But it seems that it does not work for me. It won't work for me. Well. It is similar to the officer. It is similar to the radio that the officers have access to. Well, we also have the binoculars and the field dressing. After the Spotter, take a look at the anti aircraft unit. We have a rifle just like the normal rifleman, and uh, we have a special rocket launcher. I say it is special because, well, it needs a uh, Fires a rocket, a uh, rocket which needs a certain amount of air time for it to be explosive, uh, well, to be effective. 
so close up I just shoot this vehicle uh, the rocket won't explode it just bounces off So it is useful taking down uh, choppers, helis and uh, other air vehicles. Well, uh, there are factions uh, which have different anti-air capabilities, uh, the gadgets for the skip with uh, heat seeking rockets and such. And uh, they are more effective against uh, jets and uh, fast moving air targets. We have the combat engineer. The combat engineer has a submachine gun. And trunching tool. Seems the combat is getting close. And we have uh, the repair. It is the same as uh, the medical supplies. The only difference is uh, that you can actually repair up or <laughs> almost uh, like uh, you can heal up because we damaged this uh, tactical and uh, now we are repairing its worst condition uh, we do have some explosives We are setting it up just like uh, we would set up a C4 charge with the breacher and we can uh, explode it remotely. It can be really strong against uh, some vehicles if they are uh, passing through over it so we can put it uh, in the middle of the road and uh, then watch it from a window and uh, any enemy vehicle comes over it uh, we explode it it's quite simple we have smaller explosives just pretend that there is an enemy vehicle or infantryman coming coming from that direction on the road. Now he is dead. Uh, well you can put uh, stone markings on the uh, top of your uh, remote explosives so you can keep your eye on them. But uh, this can also make your trap fail. Uh, the enemy, if uh, the opposing players are uh, really denied. Wow. <laughs> we will try out this gadget. I think 
does not have a use right now for us in this match. But you can see that uh, the combat engineer is uh, really useful if you need uh, some vehicles to be fixed or some uh, roads or bridges to be guarded with explosives. I'm getting a bit tired of my voice, but uh, we will take a look at the machine gunner. It's quite a simple kit to use. <coughs> the machine gunner uses a machine gun up to a guest. It is a uh, fairly accurate long-range fully automatic uh, firing weapon it has a similar uh, role that of the automatic rifleman but uh, it also has uh, some area denial capability that is uh, more akin to the sniper and the heavy machine gun that the machine gunner uses is also able to damage vehicles if we continue with this uh, the vehicle will explode well you can damage light vehicles with uh, rifles but uh, the machine gun is obviously doing uh, more damage per second to an enemy vehicle reloading a machine gun is uh, a really long time compared to a rifle but uh, it is still manageable I think but uh, most of the time you need to be aware uh, that you need to relocate, get into cover when your ammo runs out. And well, the machine gunner also has the entrenching tool and the melee weapon. And well, setting up for. Shooting also takes quite a bit of time, so it is uh, not a suitable kit if you want to run and gun. Oh. We also have uh, this type of rifleman with. Uh, Explosives. Mm, the mine that we used uh, explodes uh, out. So it can do massive damage uh, to one side as a area of effect. If I remember correctly, uh, the yellow explodes the way that you are, so backwards. Uh, from where you are facing and this one should explode forwards or or I just making this up I don't really remember <laughs> but uh, the main thing is you can uh, remotely explode these uh, mines well, 
we have uh, three kids remaining and uh, I will only uh, talk about the Arxman kit. Well, to be fair, uh, I don't use all these uh, kits regularly, so the Rifleman AP and Hypersonal. It is a friendly T72, yes. making a bunch of noise. noises. <laughs> I'm getting a bit tired. So the marksman has a rifle similar to the sniper rifle but it uh, uses a lower caliber ammunition most of the time. It uh, can fire faster. Uh, in some cases, uh, some of the factions have uh, guns for their designated marksmen. So, uh, well, designated marksmen, or uh, marksmen for short, uh, that have guns which are able to fire in bursts or have automatic fire modes. In this case, we only have semi-automatic. Fire. We also have the bipods, just like the automatic uh, rifleman, machine gunner, and the sniper does. And uh, our spread is significantly decreased if the bipod is deployed and uh, we are shooting with it. See, my uh, aim is completely off after I uh, shot once. Even if I go prone without deploying, I cannot shoot quickly uh, at the same spot. So the bipod is really useful when you need to be fast and accurate with your shooting. We also have frag grenades and binoculars and melee weapons and many branch weapons. So, the designated marksman is uh, really similar to the rifleman. The only real difference is that uh, we have bipods and uh, more long range optics in our guns uh, instead of the extra ammo supplies that the normal rifleman can drop. We also have the crewman and the pilot kits. And, uh, you need the crewman kit to drive uh, main battle tanks. And it uh, usually comes with a SMG. which is a uh, less dangerous weapon in most cases than a rifle or at least a shorter range weapon. We also have the bayonet, the entrenching tool and binoculars. If we are sporting the crewman kit we can get into like an APC or main battle tank and drive it. change our kit to a different one, like the pilot, but uh, well, this map we 
cannot change to the pilot. But like the anti-personnel rifleman, if we enter the vehicle, the drive seat, uh, on the left side, you can uh, read that the crewman kit is uh, needed to operate this position in the vehicle. You will get uh, wounded if you don't exit a vehicle that uh, needs to be operated by someone with a crewman kit. Well, that's about it right now. Uh, for the <coughs> simple use of the kits in infantry gameplay. Next time we will take a look at the options that the officer has and uh, maybe have some uh, basic vehicle gameplay. But for now, James is signing out. Goodbye.